Okay, so hello eBay. Um, this is my 1963 Mercury Comet Gasser. Uh, it's currently for sale on eBay. Hooray! Um, as you can see, 63 Mercury Comet S22 hardtop. Um, very rare setup here. Let's have a look inside real quick. We're going to do a quick walk around. Still has the original S22 console, which is cool. Um, you know, typical Grant steering wheel, low car shifter. All the gauges work, um, even the speedometer, I got that hooked up. The fuel gauge works with the fan on, which down here is your electric fan. All right, and uh, the ignition is real simple. There's a big, uh, big mark there that says on, and when you turn that on, all the lights come on, and the ignition is on all at the same time, and a push button starter, of course. Uh, seats are out of a uh, uh, 1997 Thunderbird. Um, have a look at the, the back here, the, the rear seat delete, covered in all kinds of vintage cool stuff there. Um, the carpet is brand new, I actually just put that in a couple of weeks ago, it was a big pain, but uh, it's mostly in there and it's mostly clean. Um, missing one kick panel here, which is uh, a fairly common part to find, but it's a little plastic piece that would make that look a lot prettier. The other side's in there, but... Um, okay. So, as you can see, the car itself was pretty rough uh, when the previous owner started on it. There's been a lot of body work, but it's all been done very well. Um, the underside body work was welded rather poorly. Um, we're midway through a radius for the wheels, uh, or for the, I'm sorry, for the, uh, the quarters. So currently it's just filled with foam in there until I get a lip welded on and made and what have you. So it's just, this is currently just the rough cut. Uh, got some great vintage uh, slot mags, real Anson slot mags. Uh, the front ones are ET slot mags. Um, the uh, important bits here, let's uh, come around to the important bits. First off, you can see the uh, fender well headers hanging down there. Very gasser. Um, up top here we have a Mopar um, Dart 440 GTS, I do believe, scoop. It's a reproduction, but fiberglass, it's, uh, it's in there. Had to put in a few little panels of metal to make that fit, because current when I got the car, it had zoomies on it, where it was cut for zoomies, and uh, those could stand to be finished, but they're there, the little panels of metal are there. So, here's the, uh, the important bit. It's a Chevrolet 305 that have been, has been stroked and bored out to make a 353. At least that's what I'm told. I, I bought the motor done, um, I personally have not had it apart. It's, uh, it has a, I, what you'd call a three-quarter cam. Um, these uh, wonderful fender well headers, which are for a Chevy 2, and have been cut and re-welded into shape. They were originally on a 49 Chevy, now they fit here. Um, aluminum radiator, uh, one wire ignition and um, alternator, performer RPM intake, and of course Edelbrock 650. So, it's good stuff there. All right. Um, battery cut off in the grill, and if we get down low, we can see 1963 Ford Econoline straight axle front end with the original springs and shocks. I mean, the shocks are new, but the original style. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, and just while I've got you here, we'll look in the trunk real quick. All right. uh, a couple of new panels welded in, brand new gas tank. Um, also, the brakes are fairly new. You can see the foam that's been uh, put into those cracks just for temporary uh, keeping stuff from falling out of the trunk while the, uh, the radius is midway done there. All right. A few little holes, but nothing, nothing impressive. Okay, so let's hear it run. If you can hear me, it has a gear drive.
very healthy. Um, doesn't smoke, doesn't burn any oil. It's got a few leaks. Um, the uh, oil pressure sender leaks and the uh, speedometer cable and the transmission leaks. Typical stuff, but here it is. This is the gas clown. It's my gasser and she's for sale. I uh, hope you like it and I hope you bid. All right, y'all take it easy.